The Chong Drive is like several other Naga drives, which were involved in practicing of headhunting in the pre-British era. The person with maximum number of hunted heads was given the position of Lock Bow, chief, who would settle down the village. The chief was authorized to maintain special decorative marks in his house and to wear special ceremonial dress during the festivals. But later on, after the head hunting was abolished, any type of problems in the village were resolved by a council of informally elected village leaders. The elected village leader also selected the fields for cultivation and was involved in fixing the festival dates. After the head hunting was abolished, the Chong Drive was involved in constructing a platform called Mulongshun in the center of the village, which would function as a public court. In the public court issues, such as village administration, cultivation, festivals, marriages, and land boundaries were supposed to be discussed on this platform. The state government of Nakaland later established village development boards in all the villages, in which the village development board consists of five to six members, including one female member. It fulfills the development schemes in the village. The main reason to form the board was that this council was involved in maintaining peace and order in the village, resolving civil disputes according to the traditional laws and arrangements for arrest of criminals and applied the government regulations. The Chonks appeared from a place called Chongsung Mongko and later developed at Chongsung. The word Chonk derived from the word Chuganu, which means banyan tree, after a mythical banyan tree that grew at the now abandoned Chongsung. The Chong Drive is also said to be migrated to present day Nagaland from the east and therefore call themselves Chong, Eastern, in the local dialect. And some of the Chong Drive also claims the Aus as their ancestors. The Chong folklore is similar to that of the Ao. The Chong mythology believes that their ancestors live with wild animals in the wild, by which they have assumed the status of clan spirits. Namely, the Ong clan that honors the tiger as a clan spirits, while the others honor wild cats and birds, crows and eagles as spirits. There are believed to be total five Chong clans, Chongpo, Ong, Lomo, Kongsho, and Kudamji. And lastly, Chongpo is further divided into Shangdi, Hongwang, Hagiyang, Ungpong, and Maba clans accordingly. Historically, the clans were secured within the village or Kel, and lived in peace and harmony. As of 2001, about 99.5% of the people of Chong Drive were Christians. However, the Chong Drive were originally nature worshippers. They believed in relationship between the humans, the nature, and the supernatural forces. They were involved to not worship any family, clan, or village deities. But, they believed in several nature spirits like water, sky, jungle, etc. The most important spirit in Chong Drive believed was Shanghuli Muka, which is believed to be the spirit of the paddy field. Usually, the Ongbo, the village priest from the Ong clan, used to perform major sacrifices during the festivals. And later on in time, the Chong conversions to Christianity started in 1936, 
and the Chong Naga Baptist Association was formed in 1940. The Chong's drive speaks the Chong language, which belonged to the Tibetu Burman family. Usually, Nagamese is the language used for communicating with the outsiders. However, the educated Chongs also speak English and Hindi languages. After the arrival of Christianity, several people in Chongs have adopted to modern clothing. The traditional Chong dress usually featured unique shawl-like garments and decorative and beautiful ornamented headgear. It also believed that the Chong shawls surpass all the Naga shawls in beauty and eye-catching patterns. The designs of shawl are traditional and different, which differ from different age groups and clans. Mune is a cowrie ornamented shawl, and believed that it could be worn only by a man, who had taken more than six heads. The traditional instrument of Chong Drive basically includes xylophone, various drums made by stretching animal leather, bamboo trumpets and bamboo flutes, which is handmade and traditional. The traditional instruments have been replaced by guitar among the modern Chonks after the conversion to Christianity. Being Christians, the modern Chonks celebrate Christmas in a big way. Chong Drive also celebrates their traditional festival, Naku Lum. Naku Lum is the major traditional festival of the Chonks. The word Naku Lum has two meanings Naku, meaning mother of darkness, and Lum, meaning festival. The period also coincides with the first harvest season of the year. According to Chonk's belief, the ancient people had to remain inside of their homes for six days, due to extreme darkness. Therefore, Naku Lum is held to celebrate the light on the seventh day. The first day of the festival is known as Wenshi. Women make steamed biscuits from rice and flour. As a traditional practice in the Chong Naga Drive, the priest and aged male members of the village engage themselves in making yams, dops, and konkan, mouth flute. It is believed that the gods during this festival come down to earth to collect yams and whey. Hence, one piece each of whey and yam is placed at the entrances of each house for the gods at night. The second day of the festival is called Yujum, Dark Moon Day. The tribes usually exchange gifts and food items, and play sports. Women are also involved in playing a musical instrument called Kong Kin. The footbaths in the houses are decorated beautifully with leaves, and a shrub called Naunam is planted in front of the house, to scare off the evil spirits. And at sunset, seeds called Wailonk are buried inside the rice box and burnt around the house. The Chong Drive believe that the fragments of the exploding seeds, moving away from the house, are considered to be a good omen. In case the fragments bounce back towards the house, it is considered to be a bad omen. People also don't go out of their homes at sunset because it is believed that the spirit of Shambhuli Muka visits the village and harms anyone outside the house. Yeah. 
The third day of the festival is called Noxen. On this final day, men beat log drums from dawn till sunrise, which indicates their victory against darkness. Old men sit in silence, and listen to the chirping birds that bring good omen. After the sunrise, the village and the roads are clean. Later the paths leading to the fields, and neighboring villages are clean. Please leave your valuable thought in the comment section below. Toes this video is important, and informative, for the Dripes of Nakaland.